Welcome back to Big Old Betting Tips YouTube channel. Today is 8th September 2024. Uh, we are pushing the month. The month has just started. I want to see how this month is going to push us. Uh, how many wins are we going to get in the studio? As usual, I'm with Medi. Medi, say hi to the viewers. Our dear viewers, thanks for watching our YouTube channel Big Old Betting Tips. Please subscribe, like, share, and comment. Please comment on every video you watch. Thanks for watching. Okay, uh, that is Medi. Uh, today we have three games. Uh, also yesterday we had three games. We had England to win full time. We had Netherlands also to win full time. I uh, also had German to win full time. Uh, today we want to go with another three games. We see how are they going to perform today. Uh, are they going to be 100% successful or we shall get some challenges but best or the good better you are you need to bet separate games you can even bet on on one single game as long as you have enough stake but in case you don't have enough stake you can combine but you are not supposed to stake more than five games in case you have to raise the chances or to get high chances of winning in betting so that's what you're supposed to do uh pick few games one game two games three games in case you want to win in betting so today let's continue with today's games uh don't forget the vip game buttons uh join button it's, uh the way you are seeing on the screen uh where the arrow is pointing check under the title of this video there's a word join the way you are seeing on our screen click on that join it is going to show you more information about the vip games monthly so let's start with uh oh let's check the games we have today the first game we have is sweden versus estonia uh we also have croatia versus poland uh, we also have portugal versus scotland maybe yes please uh, let's start with uh, sweden versus estonia sweden are hosting estonia yes and uh, when you look at sweden yeah. first of all mm the way they have been playing yeah their team is an average team they, they when they, when they come to competitions yes they won't put up a great performance yeah but they will put up a performance when you don't know mm. and they still have some of their players players like alexander isaac mm. still in their team yes we know that he, he has been providing for newcastle goals and he has also provided for sweden yes. those goals at the national team yeah even they have other players starting from their goal goalkeeper yes even their coach i think they have some experienced players in their squad and look at estonia most times mm. they it's a let me call it a and a below average team it's, yes they don't have a lot of stars or experienced players yeah. outside their league or in these top leagues we know yes but and the, that that's we have seen that in on europe what determines the football of the national team is the players who are playing in the in the big leagues big on league. Europe. Yes. So, and Sweden, for them, they have those players, which is not on Estonia. And when yes. we look at their past games, yeah. I've seen that Sweden has been a victor. They have beaten Estonia throughout, whether they are in Estonia or in Sweden, in home, every competition. Home, 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 home and away. Yes, in every competition they find yes. them. Uh, Estonia has been lo losing on sweden yes and today we want to see how the game will end at full time oh, it's yeah. going to be a tricky game for estonia and yeah. i think it will be an easy game for sweden for sweden yes and that full time sweden have won the game okay yes so we expect uh sweden to win the game sweden is going to win the game should we expect uh, both team to score in this match i don't think that that uh, sweden can consider against estonia yeah even when you look at their past games yeah sweden has also kept some clean sheets in their past games okay and and they have scored goals yeah without being without be conceding goals okay and i think we cannot see both teams to score in this match okay both teams to score no yeah. uh do we expect some overs of 2.5 goals uh when we look at the overs yeah national team games as i said in the yesterday's game yeah yesterday's uh, program yeah that they these teams the national teams yeah are confusing teams 
you don't know where whether they will score when they are uh, going to score and when, when they will not score, score. yes uh, we have looked uh, in this nations league we have seen even some big teams failing to score goals okay yeah it's true we now saw, like yesterday we are uh, we saw england ending the yes. zero two yes but full time but they had scored their first goal in the 11th minute second goal in the 26th minute yes which and means they could the add on mm. uh, where do you see the half time of this match also i think half time yeah sudan have led the game okay yes so we expect half time sudan to win uh over of 2.5 goals uh both team to score no yes and then sweden to win full time yes Okay, now the main tip of this match, Sweden to win full time. Okay, let's trust Sweden to win this match full time. Uh, that is the tip of Sweden versus Estonia. Okay, let's go to the second game. The second game we have uh, Croatia versus Poland. Uh, how do you see that game? Croatia hosting Poland, but I think here comes the time yeah. everyone waited for because around 2018, Croatia were on their peak peak of their football game yeah. and w- we saw them reaching the finals of the world cup going to the euros going to again to the same finals of the 2020 world cup but after the 2020 world cup we have seen croatia declining we saw them in the euros they are declining totally mm. even we have seen them in some past games that their decline is there but they have not yet shown up that they are in their rebuild yeah. their team is in rebuild it's in a slow rebuild mm. and they are finding poland also Poland which is which wants to let off some players like Robert Lewandowski who, who has who has been dependent on the team they have been depending on him to score goals when you look at the goalkeeper yeah. Chesney also he has been uh, re- reliant they have been relying on him o- over time mm-hmm. but they have aged but but both teams are in their rebuilding process yes. we are we saw yesterday's game yeah. where France met Italy yeah and the uh, both teams were in their rebuild but i think italy by winning the game yeah. they which it qualified that their team was after the rebuild it had conquered that rebuild and france mm-hmm. were just like starting if they if we saw that they found them in the corner now today we want to see that on poland and croatia mm-hmm. who will find in the, who will be found in that corner who will be found in that corner and who will escape the corner, the corner. yes the corner meaning is the corner of the rebuild yeah. who will escape it first who who will have the rebuild first to escape is the one to take the, the first to, is the, will be the one to win yeah, okay. and both teams when look at one of their past games yeah two to three games we have seen that both that both teams have managed to score goals yeah. even though you when look at Croatia the game they played against uh, uh, Portugal mm. they managed to score that goal yeah. they they, they they were beaten but they, they they won the game 2-1 oh, yes. and they when look at poland for them they managed to to get a win from scotland yeah. well when now here they are meeting one who lost one won, one won yeah. yes mm. and the, so giants are going to meet giants if if we are to say giants mm. we cannot say giants because if one won and one lost which means they they are going to be struggling for points for points yes mm. we have seen that in these groups struggling of points can make you go to another stage, another stage yes. so croatia and poland mm. at full time for me i will see both teams to score both teams to score but uh, if i'm to say win yeah. i'll say win of poland poland yes poland will go to croatia and pick up the game okay it means the, uh we have over 2.5 goals in this match yes uh we also have both teams to score yes and the high chances of poland to, to win. win yes okay so main tip of this match both teams to score. Okay, uh, the main tip of this match, uh, this is uh, Croatia versus Poland. Uh, we've seen the possibilities of Poland to win full time. We have seen uh, uh, over of 2.5 goals. Uh, we are also going to see uh, both team to score. But the main tip is both team to score. Uh, let's go to the last game. Uh, before you go to the last game, uh, please try to check the VIP join button you see if you can afford in case you don't uh manage to afford that you can click on our bio uh, our contact or our email is being put there so you can click there to get our details or the contact to contact us direct and then discuss more about the vip games so let's go to the last game uh maybe yes, uh, we have uh portugal versus scotland uh that is our last game let's analyze this game also 
Portugal is going to play against Scotland, but I'm sorry, I'll take you back to Croatia versus Poland a yeah. little bit. Yeah. For those who can stick at a half-time draw, yes. we are likely to say half-time draw of Croatia and of Poland. Croatia. Yes. Okay, in case. In case. Okay. You can go for that draw of Croatia and Poland. Okay. I'm sorry for that, but let's ex let's continue to Portugal versus Scotland. Yes. We saw that Portugal in their last game. Yeah. They they won the game to one. Where well, even we saw that Cristiano Ronaldo squad is 900 goal. Yes. And uh, that was a great performance for both for both the team yes. and even for the player like Cristiano Ronaldo. Cristiano Ronaldo. Yes. Yeah. And we have seen that the coach Martinez has put trust in him. We saw that Ronaldo never played very well in the Euros, mm. but he, he brought him back. Yeah. Most people thought that Ronaldo could start on the bench, could be bench. But we have seen that this coach still has that, that trust mm. in, the, in the big player like Cristiano Ronaldo. Even his teammates, yeah. the players around him, mm. have that trust in him. They know what he can deliver for them. Yeah. And whenever they trust him, we have seen that he has put up a great performance. Yeah. But they trusted him against uh, Croatia. He scored for them that goal. And we have seen that the way they have arranged their team, after players like Pepe in their centre back, he, yeah. he left the the, club, the the national team, yeah. retired from the national team. Yeah. That has also been a great job for the coach. Yeah. The coach is trying to rebuild that team slowly by slowly. We have seen that the coach does not want the team to decline thoroughly, and then he pick, he starts again rebuilding it. He has started to rebuild it slowly by slowly, yeah. putting in young players like Vitinha, adding in more players like Goncalo Ramos, players like Joao Felix starting the lineup. Yeah. And when you look at Scotland, for them we have seen that their players have started to age out. Players like Leon Tierney, they never played players like Andy Robertson. Yeah. They have started to age out slowly by slowly. And they don't have plans mm. for raising again another new, other new players. Oh. Even when you look at even at their first game they played, they lost, yeah. mm. they lost their game against uh, Poland. Poland. They lost the game. Mm. And uh, they are going in Portugal mm. to visit Portugal. We saw that Portugal won their game against Croatia at home. Yeah. And I think after full time again, Portugal will win the game. How do we expect over 2.5 goals in this match? When we look at their past games, yeah. they have had some goals, though not many goals. Okay. But I think this time round, mm. we can see some goals. Okay. We can see a game of 3 1. Okay. Yes. So it means one. if you, you 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 are you are talking in that perspective, uh, it means here we are going to see over of two point five goals, both team to score, uh, Portugal to win. Yes. Uh, how do you see half time of this match? I think half time of this match, Portugal lead the game. Okay. Yes. It means we shall see a correct score of zero one. Yes. Of uh, one of Portugal. Yes. Okay. Uh, that's what we have for today's predictions. Uh, let's see how they are going to perform today please try to check the vip join button or contact us for more details and we highlight you more about the vip games thank you very much for watching uh maybe say bye to the audience our dear viewers thanks for watching today's program please subscribe like share and comment leave a comment after watching this video thanks for watching have a nice day Okay, that's what we had for you guys today. We shall not exceed from here. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, leave a comment for us to get more feedback on what we are supposed to improve. We shall not exceed from here. We sign out.